Today we're visiting a cute little town called Fort Langley, which is the perfect day trip from Vancouver. <laughs> this place looks so cool. It almost looks like a small village enclosed in wooden fences. I wouldn't be surprised if there were movies filmed here that we don't know about. But that's how you get pizza. <laughs> Our names are Nat and Max, and we absolutely love visiting new places. <laughs> This is so fun! And believe it or not, this is our first time visiting Fort Langley. Fort Langley is a cute little town by the Fraser River and is home to vintage shops, historical landmarks, local restaurants, and has been the venue for a few Hollywood films. This vintage town is only a quick 40-minute drive from Vancouver, making it the perfect day trip for anyone looking to escape the big city. The weather doesn't look very nice outside. Yeah, it's looking a bit rainy and cloudy. We haven't really had the best weather lately here in British Columbia. But rain or shine, we are going to push through with our plans today. And also, it's in the middle of June already. During this time of the year last year, we were already in the Okanagan, enjoying the sunshine and possibly like a small heat wave. But this year, for some reason, it's so wet, so rainy. I think the last time we were here it was really busy. We came a little bit late too, right? Around 10.30 or something. But it looks like we we're gonna get some, some spots today. Oh, it's your view. Before we head to Fort Langley, we thought of stopping by at one of the popular farms here. It's called Crowsberry Farms, and for breakfast, they serve waffles. It's not exactly in Fort Langley, it's a 10 minute drive, which makes it the perfect stop before going to Fort Langley. And it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's a market, there's like a winery, but we're specifically here for the breakfast. It smells so good. I already smell it. <laughs> I can smell all the big good. Would you hold me if I told you? We can just run away, so come my darling, let me help you, we can follow. There's a whole wall of fridge filled with pies. All kinds, eh? You got an apple, blueberry, cherry pie. Apple pie, peach pie, so many. They also have ice creams. How have we not known this before? Yeah, I think it's always busy. That's why we always turn around. <laughs> Can't wait for breakfast. <laughs> Is this the way to the waffles? Yeah, this is the waffles. Okay, thank you. This way to the waffles. Hello. Can I have one blueberry waffle and a coffee, please? There's like 15 waffle makers all in a row. Look at that. Where do you want to sit? Somewhere with shade. So we just got our blueberry waffle, which is around 13.50, I think here at Crowsberry Farms. They also have vegan options as well, but it's a little bit extra. But it's good to know that you have that option if you wanted to. You could see that like everything is freshly made. The berries are coming from their farm, and the waffle is coming straight from their 15 waffle makers. So you know it's really fresh. And then you got like a lot of whipping cream on top. Which is kind of melted now. I know. <laughs> So good. <laughs> mm. So nice, warm, and gooey. <laughs> so the berries are seasonal. Sometimes you would get blueberries, sometimes you would get raspberries, strawberries, and I think you sometimes get apple and pumpkin during the holiday season too. 
Very definitely coming back. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! My goodness! What she was trying to say is we're definitely coming back for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we also noticed that it's very popular for kids and it's the perfect weekend morning for the whole family. So if you want to do some wine tasting, you have to settle up. I mean... <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah. That was kind of the area for wine tasting because like we mentioned, there is a winery here as well. Which is kind of nice because you can do a lot of things in one place. So overall, it's a place for everyone. There's a playground for kids, a marketplace if you want to grab some goods, the waffle area, and of course the winery for adults. And it seems like they also have an area where you can pick your berries by yourself, which is pretty popular here in Canada. And I think if you don't have that much time, they do have like a drive-in shed as well, so you can just pick up some berries from your car. So overall, are you full? Ready yes, to go? Super full. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so full. Me too. I'm almost ready to take a nap now. <laughs> But next stop is Fort Langley. So one of the places that we wanted to visit today here at Fort Langley is the Fort Langley National Historic Site, which back in the day during the early days of Canada, it is one of the major trading posts of the Hudson's Bay Company. Back on the era that they were still trading goods and furs with other nations, they pretty much do it here. And since I just got my citizenship, I got a free pass today because this is one of the National Historic Sites here in Canada. Help me out, my long lost friend Tell me all that could have been And if I start to lose myself This place looks so cool because it almost looks like a small village enclosed in wooden fences You can see the whole village from up here so you'll notice here at Fort Langley that they have the entire village covered with thick high walls. And I think that's for trading, right? So to protect the goods that they were trading back in the day. And also to serve as an outpost. And if you've been big fans of like TV shows like Game of Thrones, I guess you would be appreciating this a lot more. I wouldn't be surprised if there were movies filmed here that we don't know about. Yeah, because it's such a movie set, right? Yeah. <laughs> So you will notice that there's a lot of old buildings here in Fort Langley and the storehouse which we are going to right now is the only remaining original building here in Fort Langley. So it's interesting because this place, this house, is where they store all of the goods back in the day before they package it to transport all over the world. So I think if you come on the right time, you can catch some of the shows and the tours that they do here. But unfortunately, we didn't see much today because some of the houses were closed as well, so we couldn't go in the houses. But I still think that you could do a lot of things here, and especially on a more sunny day. You could do camping here. Yeah, it's a nice camping spot. It's very spacious. And also, if you find that a day here at Fort Langley isn't enough, you can also stay for the night and rent a tent. So the tent is pretty spacious. You can fit the whole family here with the dining table and they also have a fridge. Yeah, and this is what I love. You can all slip together at the bottom and then there's an extra bunk at the top. Hello, can I ask for sugar? <laughs> it's scary. 
So that was kind of a nice stroll down History Lane. So if you guys wanted to know more about history or simply wanted to know more about Fort Langley, definitely check out this place. We're now going to the town itself because this little nugget is pretty hungry. I haven't had lunch yet, it's already 1 p.m. So for our late lunch, we found this place called Magia Escapa. It's an Italian restaurant here in Fort Langley. While we were researching for a place to eat, we found this restaurant and their pictures looks really appetizing. And also, the sun is coming out and it's turning out to be a fine day today. It started really cloudy and rainy this morning. But now, it's bright and sunny, so that's why we're here at the patio area. For lunch, we are having some pizza and some meatball pasta. For the pizza, this is a fungi pizza or fungi pizza. <laughs> she comes with mozzarella, mushrooms, truffle oil, and a lot of arugula. Really good. Oops, no arugula. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheating. It fell. You need the veggies. It fell off the pizza. Try it. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm, so good. You can really taste the tomato sauce and the noodles. It seems really fresh. Mm, perfect combination. Mm, need more chill sticks. I like it spicy. <laughs> Looking at me with a smile like you wanted me. Same boy, come on, or I'll break be gone. I just had to try. <laughs> you just move, baby. Move any way you need. How do you do it, darling? You got me on my After having lunch, we made sure to check the colorful town of Fort Langley. Most of the commercial buildings are in this general area and close to the Fraser River. There are a lot of local restaurants where you can dine, unique vintage stores and specialty shops where you can go into and pick up something cool. But I think our favorite was walking around the streets that felt like a movie set and admiring the old school character of the buildings. We're also here to chat with you guys on what our future content is going to be like. So if you guys may have noticed, we have expanded our travels to the US and we have every intention in continuing that. But unfortunately, we've been caught up with the passport backlog here in Canada. So if you guys have been following the news, there's a huge passport backlog if you're applying or renewing a passport. So since Max got her citizenship, we applied for a passport right away. But unfortunately, this happened. So what we're trying to say is for the next few vlogs, we are going to be sticking around here in Canada, enjoying British Columbia until we get my passport. But for now, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.